pulling out some bolts from the floorboard that hold the seats in on this Honda Insight. And I have a problem. That one has been underwater for a long time. Um, the body is aluminum, got the steel bolt. As you can see, it's stripped. And there wasn't much to strip in the first place because it was already uh, you know, supposed to be a 12 millimeter head, but it was probably 11 and a half when I started and uh, stripped it with the 12, hammered an 11 millimeter on there, stripped it with that, uh, soaked it in penetrating oil, done just about everything you can do except one thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a MIG welder. You weld a nut on the top of that and uh, hopefully get it extracted. So uh, there will be a couple parts to this. Uh, I'm going to take a grinder and expose the top of that bolt there so I have something clean to weld to. And then I'm going to get the MIG welder and weld a nut on there. And then uh, oftentimes that will heat up the, the bolt enough that you can get it. Uh, from there, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright, hopefully you can see I ground the top of that nut or that screw bolt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, ground the rust off of that. And I've got uh, this nut here. Works best if these are unplated, but if they're plated That'll often work too. So I'm going to set it right on the top of it there, and I'm going to weld, fill up the middle of it, uh, and weld, basically weld, uh, you know, starting, try to get the wire to hit the bolt on the bottom first, and then you just fill it up, uh, that hole right in the middle of the nut, and uh, you've got it welded on there, and you should be able to pull it out. Okay. So I just welded it, it's glowing red hot, hopefully my carpet is not on fire, so far possibly not, you can see I've got the nut mostly filled up there, and sometimes that happens, dun dun dun. Take two. Alright, see it's still glowing. I like to wait for it to just stop glowing and then I hammer that thing out of there, hopefully. Okay. And I twisted it off again. So that didn't work too good that time either. Alright, maybe the third time's a charm. So, still red hot. Looks like it's cooling down now. Some bitch. Alright, you see the nut that I welded on there is glowing. I'm gonna wait. <coughs> Until it just stops glowing, and I'm going to try to see if it's welded on there good enough to get it out. It's pretty good to me. What is it, what is it they say, fifth time's the charm? So I've got this thing welded up for, yeah, the fifth time. Um, I don't think I've started the carpet on fire yet, but I'm well on my way, I think. So if this one doesn't work, I'm not going to keep going.
Now you can see that was uh, that hole was pretty corroded. There's my fastener welded on there. So there you have it. One uh, one other pro tip: I'd never do this by carpet with a flux core welder or a stick welder. There's just too many sparks, as you can see. I've got some BBs burning their way down into the back of this. So I'm going to douse this area in water after I get the seat out. Maybe I'll even pull the carpet out just to make sure the car is not going to start on fire after I'm done with this. There you have it. That's how you get a stripped bolt out.